Hello everyone, welcome back to another Froggo Plus video and this time I would like to talk about my new fancy pants level editor that I just made. You may remember that uh, there's a level editor that I use for this game and what happened to that you might be wondering. So basically I made levels in that game and I was just so frustrated to the point I was like, you know what holds the development, I'm gonna invest some time into making a new level editor. And here I am. So what's so wrong about the old editor? Well basically, the process is this. I have to pick a uh, appearance of a tile at the top left in the tile sheet and then pick the properties of the tiles at the bottoms and finally I place it at the right of the screen which is in the level. I have to do this every single time for a different tile I have to place. Yeah, you can kind of see the problem here. I mean, yeah, I know I can place tile continuously if it's the same but still the workflow is just pure horrible, so I decided to make a new editor. Here I am. <laughs> to give a brief introduction to this level editor, I want to uh, uh, introduce the few features that I added to it to make it more usable. <laughs> Starting from the toolbar, uh, the first tool we have is the object placement tool, and it's, it's very self-explanatory, it's coming straight from the old editor. What it essentially does is just place objects, uh, I don't have to explain more. The second tool that I'm going to introduce is the drag tool. Honestly, this is my favorite. Sometimes I can kind of like misplace a tile or something and what I have to do in the old editor is manually remove it and place it in the right place but with a drag tool I can just drag the block to the position that I want it is so convenient it, and it's honestly my favorite I kinda got inspired by Mario Maker uh, with this tool the third one is a tool that allows you to check the properties of the tiles and, and also clone it if you want to use the object placement tool the fourth one is an uh, eraser tool uh, I don't have to explain more so the fifth tool is the selection tool. It's kind of one of the reasons that I made this whole editor. Basically, I can select stuff and copy and paste it to other places in the level or just wipe all the tiles in the selected area. Uh, it's very simple but uh, very hard to implement but very useful on its own right. The sixth and seventh tool is also one of the main reasons why I made this editor and that is the auto tile. Uh, they're kind of not really auto tile, they're semi auto tile technically. Basically, uh, this feature was copied straight from the selection tool and I get to drag out a rectangular area and the level editor basically fills the entire area for me with a, a specific kind of terrain but uh, it does so in a way that the size of the selector area is already uh, connected. Now the tiles will not uh, connect again once I place new ones next to them but uh, it's already a very convenient tool, so it's gonna be very useful. And the auto slope is also like very good. In the old editor, placing the slope is a pain because I have to select multiple different properties. But now the editor can just do the work for me. I can just drag out an area and the slope would be just there. Pretty simple. The next two tools that I want to talk about is the one that basically controls the size of the level. So we have insert columns and rows and and remove columns and rows. Essentially, I can just create space out of the middle of the level or just remove them, like just wipe them out column by column. I can use this tool when I feel like uh, the level kind of missing something and I have to insert an area between the two. So yeah, it will come in handy. Finally, we have the door linker. Now, uh, this one is pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Basically, you use this and you click on a door and another door to link them. Like that's it. Uh, I guess you can also so uh, right click on the door and it gets you to the other side of the door in the editor. Other than that, uh, this tool kind of is just, it can feel like the most redundant one of the bunch, but it makes the job easier. Next up, we have the entity and tile presets. Now they're not necessarily tools, but uh, rather a menu that you can bring up and choose type of entity or tile that you want to place. Now, whenever I have to place a special kind of tile, like an item tile or a breakable tile, I have to select it manually in the properties menu and I kind of just have to remember 
which number has which function but with this preset thing I can just write down the preset beforehand in like a text file and select it in the menu so I don't have to always memorize them and it also saves the problem of always having to go to the properties menus I can just select it from the visual menu and that's most of the tool that was used for uh, editing the level itself but uh, I also added other features like the little options menu for level properties like backgrounds and music and another very important thing is the file manager system which is a system that lets you save levels and low levels like just from the editor itself now this seems like a given for those who uh, like use they just use a already made tool but for me whenever I make level editors I kind of just I, this kind of thing was done in the console that I have to have to manually move my cursor to the console and type out the level name and hit enter just to save a level which is it was a bit painful but now that I got that result it would be a lot easier going forward now I know despite how user oriented it looks and how user oriented it actually is it wasn't intended to be a user oriented level editor uh, like it is, it's not for you <laughs> like after all of that or after all of these to make the user experience good it was all for me wait so frog we just spent five minutes listening to this very fancy level editor and get excited about using it just for you to tell us that we won't be able to use it yes okay i get it it looks fun to play around with but like uh even if you get to use it there isn't really a whole lot to do other than making a level which is why you want to use it probably but make no mistake this isn't super mario maker you're not supposed to uh, share levels with it and i also have no plan to make a system where you can upload levels and share them you might think that's kind of lame and it is to be fair but uh that's a lot of thing to work on and i don't have that much time and i don't want to put that much effort into this maybe in the future i can make something like that but we really, i'm not feeling it right now the whole reason i made this editor just to it's just to improve my workflow you know and it did a really good job at that it's still kind of a pain that ass to use but uh it did its job and i feel like the time i invested into making this it was really worth it that's what i'm gonna say that said i will be including the source code along with the game by the time this release so even if you found the code and decide to play around with it i'm not gonna stop you but uh this is not going to be a full thing like on its own but anyway uh i spent uh i really spent a lot of time talking about this fancy pants editor and i feel like i should end this video right here and next week i would like to talk about the whole game plan with this Froggle plus thing instead of uh, talking about progress because exam is coming and i can't really make progress so uh, see you see you next week